rights to today. Well, that is the goal of the new Louisiana Civil Rights Museum. Organizers hope to tell the unheard stories of black liberation, some of which began right here in Louisiana. Photojournalist Rick Nice Riggin shows us how. Two years of traveling the state, uh, hearing the stories from the people that lived it, and then be able to bring it all together in this museum, uh, in this convention center, um, is pretty special. It was a march against fear, but it also was a march to let the nation know that we were not afraid. It's going to tell a story uh, of these heroes, a lot of what started here in Louisiana. No violence, but plenty of vocal abuse from segregation and spectators outside. The museum is divided into three themes, right to education, right to vote, and right to assemble. You're starting with legacy stories in the late 19th century, and then you dive into more of the modern stories, the 1950s and 60s, and we show the connection between those stories and the foundation that was set. One of the biggest components that made the civil rights movement possible were different establishments throughout Louisiana where black and white people, in fact, could meet. Four brave little girls, the McDonough Three, along with Ruby Bridges at Franz Elementary. We realized through our research and working with the advisory board and all of the stakeholders that there were so many other stories that needed to be told as it relates to desegregation. New Orleans began at the kindergarten level. Baton Rouge, on the other hand, they began with the senior year. There are so many parts of history that I was not aware of and that I was not taught in school. And I think that is one of the most important reasons, not just for visitors to be able to learn more about our state, but for people who live here to really understand where they come from and the history of this beautiful state. Well, the museum is inside the Moriel Convention Center. It opens Sunday from 2 to 5. After that, hours will be from 9 to 4.30. And admission is free until October 15th. Organizers say they will announce regular prices soon.